Hey everyone, welcome once again to our daily devotion. This is day 10 of our spiritual journey, Journey to the Promise. And today's devotion is entitled, Generous People Live at Large. In our scripture today, you read in Proverbs this wonderful straightforward truth about generosity and how we receive or how we benefit from generous living. At the top, it says that there is one that freely gives, which means they give without restriction. They don't place any restrictions on themselves. They, they trust God. They trust that their giving is going to meet a need, and through that, God's going to meet their need. And because they give in that manner, in that generous manner, that they are always rich. Then it says there are those who put restrictions on themselves. They restrict their giving. They um, doubt whether they will be sustained or whether they'll be taken care of or they doubt whether this is truly a kingdom principle. And in that, they always find themselves needing and wanting more. Then the scripture goes on to say those who give much will always have much. And those who help others will all, well, others will help them. So what does that mean for the believer? And as we're going through this spiritual journey, I want you uh, to realize that giving is an act of worship to God. It, it first says that we trust God because God is the source who has given us the resources. But when we take these resources and this money and this resources for to support God's agenda, when we use it to support or build up the saints or to and to spread the gospel, when we use it to help those in need, there's a blessing that comes with that. God has promised us blessings. So here's how we live at large. Not only will we enjoy the blessings, as Proverbs 10 and 22 says, the blessings of the Lord maketh rich and he adds no sorrow to it. But it also increases our capacity to extend his goodness. So when we live at large, we don't just live at large for ourselves. Actually, he is increasing our opportunities to be even more of a blessing or to be even more generous. We find new ways to give and we find giving more when we give more. It is always going to bless us more, but we will always have even more to give. That's what it means for generous people to live at large. We don't put any restrictions on ourselves because we know that, as senior pastor used to say, God's shovel will always be bigger than our shovel. No matter what you put in, God's going to make sure you get back more. But we're not going to just get back more for ourselves. We're not going to start reaping these wonderful blessings and then start putting restrictions on us because we think it's too much to give. We learn that we're going to be even more generous, that we're going to be even more free in our giving because you can never beat God's giving no matter how hard you try. So be generous in your giving, no restrictions. Whatever the Lord placed on your heart, be free about it and give accordingly. Support God's agenda. Help the church. Help those that are in need. Help the spreading of the gospel. And not only will you enjoy the fruits of the blessings, you will find yourself having so much that you won't even have room to contain it. And you'll find yourself giving back even more. God bless you. I pray that this devotion has been a blessing to you. And remember our one to one to one spiritual commitment. Spend that time with the Lord that is due him, that he is worthy of. Spend it in praise. Spend it in prayer. Spend it in worship. Spend it in your study of your scripture. Learn more about him. Hear his voice through the reading of the scripture. And whatever activity may distract you from doing that, put that aside today and use that time to spend with him. Again, God bless you. Have a wonderful day. Stay safe.